Good evening, folks. And this is something we really shouldn't be talking about. I mean, beyond ridiculous. And before you anti-Second Amendment, anti-gun clowns come on here and say anything, I'm going to tell you right now. Before you even try to debunk anything I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you right now. Criminals will never listen to your laws. You can try to say that it will not happen. Criminals will not follow the laws, regardless of whatever kind of gun control things we have and gun control laws we have in place. They will not follow the laws. Doesn't matter what you do, they'll just borrow the gun to do the crime. Is all they'll say. They'll have friends who ha- who are gun owners. They'll just say, uh, "Can I borrow? The- can I- I'm just gonna take this gun and just borrow it." That's what they'll do. Now they'll just take the gun and kill the gun owner that has the gun. That's what they'll do. But with that part being said, what happened in Butler County, Pennsylvania, which is where this 20-year-old individual, which shall not be named because I'm, I'm very peculiar about certain things, he supposedly attempted to assassinate Donald Trump. Now the question is, was he really a Republican? Because he was registered as a Republican. Nobody really knows because he donated $15 to the Democrat Party. To a group that was diehard Democrat. So, what's this tell you? Was he really just posing as a Democrat? Was he really just posing, pretending to be a Republican and just voting? Because during elections, you can vote... During, you can vote during the elections, like the primary elections as a, you have to register yourself as either Republican or Democrat. I mean, you can register yourself as a Democrat at one point, and then vote Democrat at that point, and then when it comes to elections, you can either vote Democrat or you can vote Republican. I mean, the the name Democrat, pretty much, well, or Republican, is pretty much well gone out the door when it comes to the general election. You don't even have to say what party you are on your ballot. And when you go to vote, you don't even have to, in person or absentee, you don't even have to say what party you are when it comes to general election. I've done that through every time I voted absentee. Every time I get the general election form, it doesn't say anything about... That when you vote general by primary, you have to say if when it comes to the Republican versus Republican or Democrat versus Democrat, you have to say who you, what party you are and who you're voting for. And that's how this worked. Now, what's it going to be when it comes this time around? Of course. I'm going to do a lot of things when it comes to my assumption. We got to be, th- we got to think really hard about this. And of course, everyone's going to be really hard. Now the guy, but what prompted him to do this? Of course, everyone called Trump Hitler. That really hated Trump. They called him Hitler. Now the question is, how deep in ties was he with Hitler? Unless he was thinking that he was a bad guy. He was radical. He was a radical Democrat. You can say he was a Republican. The thing that says he was Republican can say he was Republican only once. But the fact of the matter is, he was a Democrat. Because he donated to the Democrat Party. And that just goes to prove you. You can be one thing. You can claim to be one thing when it comes to voting, to the primaries, and be something totally different when it comes to actually voting. Voting in the general election. Just like like out in Iowa when it came to trying to vote Trump off of the ballot. They tried to vote for Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley tried to do this one thing. They tried to do a one and done deal for the Democrats. Tried to do a one and done deal for for the Nikki Haley to get Trump out out of Iowa. Failed drastically. Some Democrats went to vote for Nikki Haley, and if it worked, then it would be Biden. Then they switched their both votes back to Biden in the November. Ballot, which is pretty much what this whole idea was. But now, it's vice versa. It's now Trump versus Biden. Now, just a tad inch, he got the 
he got glazed right here by blood, and some other person was killed, another injured. And then, obviously, the Secret Service took the took the so-called sniper out, but how did he get in there past all his people? Why was he able to climb those gates? People even said that there's this person that's not even supposed to be up there climbing the gate. I mean, it's almost like this was an inside job. They knew he was climbing up there. Forget the protocol. You, ha you hear someone making, saying that there's someone climbing those gates? Investigate it. Take every threat seriously. Even if it is a fake. Even if it is a hoax. Take it seriously. I mean, th this is what our country's come to. If you don't take something seriously, then the person dies. If you take it seriously, then they don't die. He literally almost died because they didn't take the threat seriously according to certain witnesses who actually saw the clown, who actually saw this murderer, potential murderer, assassin, climb that wall. Up there to where he laid up there taking the shots. He took multiple shots. He hit Trump supposedly on the ear and he was bleeding, but if he would have gazed a little more to the left or so, he would have killed him. He literally would have killed Trump. And what's that tell you? These guys will do anything to eliminate the competition. Just to keep Biden in the race. So, it's Trump. They, The Democrats will, and every Democrat has put a and like Biden said, it's time we put a bullseye on Trump. Really? You're perfectly okay with that. How sad and scary can you be? I find that very disturbing. I find your lack of faith very disturbing. Well, like they'll say, karma is a bleep, and it caught up to him, because once they found out where it was coming from, they took him out. So, it's just, we need to take, but honestly, I think the Secret Service has something to do with this, because they knew... Once they found out, they didn't really take it seriously. So, obviously, it's an ins part of an inside job. I don't know if you... I'm not going to jump down to far conclusions, but obviously there's somewhere down the line somebody dropped the ball to let him on the roof when he should have never been up there on the roof. I mean, the more will come out when this is up, but right now this is all speculation, but let's not try to jump down that rabbit hole yet, but... Right now, it kind of looks kind of like, kind of looks a little shady right now. Like, there might be an ins this might be an inside job for letting that clown up on the roof. But then again, who knows? Well, with that being said, I gotta get ready to pack for Georgia. I'm gonna take a little mini vacation down to Georgia for a little bit. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>